Trump, meanwhile, pointing to those neck and neck battleground states and his standing room only crowds as proof that he will win. He's now making his closing arguments. Proud to be going it alone. No celebrities necessary. ABC's Tom Yamas in Scranton, where he's witnessing those long lines firsthand. Tonight, Donald Trump with one last battleground blitz, a whirlwind sprint to the finish. Eight states in 24 hours. Trump sounding nothing like an underdog. We're winning Ohio. We're winning Iowa. We're winning, we think, New Hampshire. We're going to do great in New Hampshire. I hear we're winning North Carolina big. I hear. In Florida, long lines of supporters waiting overnight to see him. So we're inside Trump's first event of the day, Sarasota, Florida. Thousands of people here. And some of these Trump supporters have been waiting since 6 p.m. last night to see Trump today. Here's one of them. So why wait so long to see Trump? So I could be here to witness history. How, how can I ever get another chance to witness history like this? Who's already voted? Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. Oh, wait, you've almost all voted. All right. Goodbye, everybody. We want Trump! We want Trump! In the last days of this campaign, the Energy Electric, a movement with momentum after the FBI's October surprise, that review of newly discovered emails tied to Hillary Clinton. Trump went from attacking the FBI to praising it, to now attacking it again after Director Comey's announcement clearing Clinton a second time. You can't review 650,000 new emails in eight days. You can't do it, folks. In fact, sources tell ABC News agents used a computer program to sort through all those emails. Trump's frustration and his list of grievances all part of his final act in this campaign. Trump even knocking Clinton for her star-studded finale. She gets Beyonce and Jay-Z. I like them. I like them. And you know what they do? I get bigger crowds than they do. Is there any place better to be than a Trump rally? Are we having fun? Are we having fun? No. And I don't have a guitar and I don't have a piano. But he does have Ted Nugent treating the crowd in Michigan to a lewd boast. I got your blue state right here, baby. Trump himself more fired up than ever with just hours to go. In one day, do you believe this? One day, we are going to win back the White House. And so let's bring in Tom Yamas live tonight. He's in Scranton. And Tom, uh, no question here that Donald Trump's spending a lot of time in these final hours in the Rust Belt states where he has to knock off some of that blue. We are going to unleash. That's right, David. Donald Trump actually finishing his campaign in Grand Rapids, Michigan, a traditionally blue state. But Trump and his campaign are convinced disaffected white working class voters will lead them to victory on Tuesday.